Hey guys, welcome to Operation Crypto altcoin analysis video today. It's time we um, got a few requests from you guys and I put a tweet out this morning asking for some assets that you'd like me to cover and we have got a fair few so we'll, as usual, we'll just take a look at Bitcoin and see what's going on the, the broader perspective, see what's going on in, in, in the higher caps and then we'll take a look at some altcoins requested by you. So. Here we have the Bitcoin chart and this is the one that I've been showing you for a long time. It's a weekly time frame and we have got that, that trend line which, I mean, you could say we broke out of it but, but then again, it's just the sideways action. We've naturally came out of that downtrend. I mean, you could extend it and still say that is a downtrend. It's not accurate but usually more weeks, more accurate. For me, I did a video yesterday on Bitcoin um, specifically and I talked about these um, these periods where usually after a year worth of um, downward pressure from the highs, Bitcoin has a tendency to start pushing up. Whether it takes a year or whatever, it does start gradually churning up from from that, that point. So we're coming up towards that point now, towards the end of this month, beginning of November. That will signify a year after um after the all-time high so yeah we've got a lot of assets to look at today let me just fire some up on my other screen and then we'll get cracking and like i say every time um we do these videos i'll get requests from you guys and we can see exactly what assets you want me to cover first of all we'll start off with metis um, and look at that chart crazy isn't it that we've significantly dropped from those highs but it is what it is and you got to take these opportunities while they're here i did say the other day i put a bit of a tweet out saying look we have bounced off the same level of support again, down at $22. And I'm looking for a push up towards 28. So we're looking for to flip this region around here at 20. I'm not sure. Where, oh, this region here at 25. So look, if we break that, we are going to hit 28. And that's exactly what's happened. We pushed up, pushed up through this level of resistance, had a slight rejection towards the bottom of these candles here. I think this is the next level coming up, $32. That is actually one of my major buy-ins, $32. I was... Um, I saw that major move up, I waited for a pullback, I bought in at around $32 I and mean, then obviously uh, the price did come down and it is what it is. I mean for now um, most of my other buys are in profit, I bought quite a lot down at $19 and it's not looking too bad. But like I say, first area to target is $32, look at all that, that resistance there. If we break through that one we're hopefully going to push up towards 49 but I don't want to get too excited about that, uh, that yet because the markets are still in diabolical state. If you're looking for buys and we do get a pullback, then this is a region here at 25.78. In terms of Fibonacci, if you look at the entire move from the bottom to the top, then you could use that 382 at $27 and the 618 down here at $25. So if you are looking for some buys, use those Fibonacci's and this level of support here for you to look at potentially filling some orders. So let me just find me oh, okay, there we go. So right, first one, KNDX. It's an asset. I'm very fond of actually doing AMA with um, with Conducts tonight, uh, an AMA on my um, Twitter spaces, so come and check it out if you're around. It's tonight at 19.30 British Standard Time. Looking at the chart here, we've had a decent bounce, to be honest, off the lows down here. I'm not going to read that price out because I can't read it. There's quite a few zeros in it. It's big supply, that's why I see quite a lot of zeros. But, I mean, if you're looking for buys, I think you still look down at this level, but... We have had a good reaction here so far. The market has pulled to a downside, pushed up. Uh, let me just change the colours on that to black. Uh, where is it? One colour, black. There we go. Um, so, yeah, we've actually come up, done a 38.2% um, retracement. We are pushing up. So, that's pretty much abided by technical analysis rules. And that's been a good one so far. I mean, if you're looking for buys, I'd still target these regions here. I'm not going to read that number out, but it'll just hold it there for a second so you can read it. The, end, the last four numbers are 5801. I mean, you've got the 618 down here, which is 5120. So that are some levels for you to target for buys. First major level of resistance is breaking through this area here, which is tied nicely with that top right move. So once we break above there, I think prices hopefully might start to to push up. Um, this is still low cap, it's under $2 million and I think breaking up towards this region is a first major task up at around 1134. I'm, let's say I can't read that number out properly. But that's an area where the price should go in my opinion, um, given if we get any bullish market continuation. Uh, I know we've had a nice little bounce now off them 1800s and we're pushing up towards that 20k region. If Bitcoin does continue to push up, Big caps, medium caps, low caps, ones with solid use cases like conducts are really going to start pushing on. So for me, um, this is a great asset. I mean, if you're looking to buy it, 
it's a low cap. Usually, what I tend to do, if there's anything under $5 million, and it's an asset that I'm fond of for the future, I wouldn't really consider a price. I'm just buying and, and hold on, because projects like this, with things like NVIDIA Inception Program, can really take off once it starts getting to my balls on them. And this is the great thing about low caps. Getting them under that $5 million market cap is... It's, it's, it's a great way to, to massively boost your efficiency in finding low caps and building your wealth. So for me, decent asset to buy. Uh, like I say, use that, that region down there on those Fibonacci's and then use TPs up here in order to accumulate. That was Conduct there. Uh, Metis, I've covered that. Um, what else have we got? Casper, let's have a look at that, see if it's on this chart here. I presume that's it, CSPR. Um, that's from the revolution that will be tokenized. So let's cover that. I'm not sure if it's the same asset, but we'll have a look at it. How much data have we got on this asset? A fair old whack there. So yeah, plenty of data to look at in terms of price analysis. We have had a good bounce off those lows from down there. You can see it kind of bottomed out. It was in that range where it, um, it was bouncing up and down the same area. Major support here. Double wick there and then bang to the upside. It's actually coming to a level of resistance here. If you look at all these wicks, um, you've got three wicks in that area. It's pretty much coming up to area. And if you put on the very bottom wick there, look at that. That is a major level of resistance. In the past, it was a major level of support. If you look around here, back in July of 2021, and then here in March of 2022, you can see it's a clear level of resistance. I think anything breaking through that, then you're going to target the tops of this move around here, uh, which would be nice, to be honest. There's a lot of liquidity around here as well, up at uh, 0 0.79, around 8 cent. Probably a decent region, because if you look at this here, the, the wick dropped through it, but you can see support, support around here, resistance, and there's quite a bit of liquidity trading around that range. So I think it'll put around 7.6 cent, could be a decent area to, to look to take profit. In terms of buying levels, if this does start making a bit of a retracement and you're looking for some buys, then yeah, 4.3 cent will be a decent buy. That would tie nicely with those rejections there. So yeah, I think that could be a decent level at 4.3 cent if you are looking to, to load up on Casper. PYR. We'll use a Binance chart for this, usually predominantly as the best data. Can't believe this is down in these regions, and I've looked at this on a previous video before. You can see that, look, we are in a range bound price action. We've not really seen much of a maneuver, to be honest. Um, and I've got these levels of resistance marked to be. You can see it's a clear confluent area where every time the, the price did bounce off to $8, it got a good reaction to the upside. And if you look at that, every time we had a bounce, let's have a look at this. So from here, when we hit this level of support, we bounced up 100%. When we hit it here, we bounced up and did 140%. I mean, even if you look at this lower move down here, we still did a 56% move. So that is a major level. If the price does start to push back up above eight dollars, I think you're really going to see some decent price action. But then again, there could also be some major selling price action there too. So, looking at current prices down here, we are at currently at four fifty one. We are now above this this EQ of that range. So this is the range you've got high range, low range, and the EQ, which is at equilibrium. Any price action above this is bullish. Anything below it is bearish. The next level to take profit or accumulate is 527. That is an area where you should be uh, looking to sell. And if you're looking to buy, then it will be looking at $4 respectively and $2.67. If we do get a breakout of here, then you're going to be taking profit at $8. And if it does fly through here from current prices, you're talking about an 80% move. And I think that's definitely something on the tables for Pyre. How long have we done? Let me just a quick look at the time. Nine minutes. We'll cover... Two more assets we'll cover. Let's have a look. RSR and Mover. RSR has had a good bounce so far, actually. It's come down, done a 78% retracement, but this was a pump here to mainnet, wasn't it? We were pumping up, I and mean, then obviously it's selling news. A lot of people are giving me shit because uh, they're significantly down. A lot of people don't understand the technology behind this. I've seen that whenever I do an RSR specific video, Put it on the chair. Um, whenever I see an RSR specific video, there's always people in the comments saying it's a scam, it's this, it's that. That's just because it's had a major, major sell off and a lot of people were in profit. We had a lot of VCs on board, which all gained took profits. And it is what it is. In my opinion, I think the technology is exactly what the world needs right now with hyperinflation. So for me, 
it is a decent asset. It's an asset I'll be holding on for the long term. And if who knows, if we do get a bit of a bull mar- a bear market rally, I will look to to consider taking profit. And I should you. If that does happen, then I've always mentioned these levels: one point one cent and one point six cent. I and mean, if we manage to get lucky, when you got two point two cent up here, I'm not going to look at buying levels because it's in a range bound area. If you want to buy it just buy it i mean i wouldn't consider uh trying to find an asset here and here and there's not much point in it it's low value it's a solid asset fundamentally what i would consider is taking profit at these three regions up here and then finally mother usdt uh, there it is moon river looks absolutely horrific from those highs and that is the same for a lot of these type of projects especially polka dot power chains which um didn't do too well, did we really? But um, this is pretty much in a range bound price action. It is look at this area here. Look at that. We're just in a bit of a, a consolidation period now. I think there's that many people sold it off. It's just kind of found its bottom where people are happy to buy. And every time it's around here, people are buying up. I mean, that chart does look horrific to be honest. <laughs> you need to get some price action beyond uh, $26. If you get beyond $26, then you're going to look at this region here at 44 and hopefully, little tiny baby steps, you can eventually get back up to 93, but yeah, it's been heavily sold off. It is pretty much on the floor, in my opinion. Uh, so if you're looking for buyers, throw up kitchen sink at it, wait for some take profit regions at 26 and 43. But that's it. That is some altcoin analysis for today. We'll try and do another couple of this week, so if you've got any more assets you want me to cover, throw them in the comments. I know I've probably not got to all of the assets on that tweet I put out this morning, but I'll be a real fucking day, won't I? So, um, yeah, I'll just pick the ones that come to me first and same again 